Before we start sharing with you how to create a marketing message that actually gets you attention, I want to ask you first, do you know what a marketing message is? It's one of those terms that gets thrown around so much that we kind of just lost track of what it actually is. But before we get down to that, let me introduce myself. I'm Laura Gachega, CEO and founder of Viral Growth Media, and we help small businesses and solo entrepreneurs in the coaching and consulting space fast track their growth, scale, and be ready to compete in the big leagues in their industries. We're always putting out new videos on business growth and scaling in our channel, so please like this video and subscribe so you you're always updated on what's coming next. So the very basic meaning of a marketing message is how a business or brand communicates with its target audience to let them know who they are and what they do. But as a whole, it goes beyond just words on a paper or a slogan, right? Like your Instagram profile description. It's all of that and more. It's your emails, your social media posts, it's your graphics, it's your ads. It's even how often you follow up with potential clients or other update your social media account. And if you have no idea what the base of your marketing message is, it's actually very possible that all the marketing materials you're putting out, including your landing pages, VSLs, or emails, give out conflicting or confusing messages about who you are, what you do, and who exactly you're trying to reach. And you don't want that because that could actively drive away potential customers, leave you with no leads, or attract the kind of leads you're not looking for. Just think about it. How much time, money, and effort is lost when you don't have the right marketing message? So how do you make sure that your marketing message attracts not just attention, but the right kind of attention, the one that would lead to booking high quality appointments and more business? When building your marketing message, you have to lock down three fundamental factors. One is your audience. Two is their pain points. And three is what they truly want. And you might go, well, I already know all of that. And from our experience, a lot of business owners don't actually know you have to start with your audience. A lot of business owners think of their audience in broad strokes and, and what they need to do is get really, really specific. Even if you belong to a specific industry, not everyone in that industry is going to be interested in what you have to offer. Let's say your product or service is for people in the medical industry. There are a wide range of professionals in the medical industry. They're doctors uh, with varying specializations, nurses, medical technology, Technologists and, and even those in administrative positions. And then you have to go deeper and figure out the demographic they actually belong to. Where do they work? How long have they been in the industry? Does their age matter? And so much more. You have to define the niche audience that you're working with so you're sure that you're attracting leads that have an actual need for your service. Once you have that figured out, you can start defining what their pains and wants are. And a lot of our clients think they know the answers to this immediate, but what they know is what they think their audience pains and wants are. The only way to truly get to know your audience is by forgetting about what you think you know. Doing your research and guess what, guess what, guess what? Active listening. You have to get out of your preconceived notions about your audience and, and actually get to know them read up on case studies. If, if you have current clients, talk to them, set up an interview, and really dive into what made them wanna work with you. You can even go into forums like Reddit or Facebook and LinkedIn groups and, and read up on what they're saying, what they're telling you know their colleagues, and, and take notes. Knowing and understanding their pains and wants and being able to convey that into your marketing message is what's going to help you capture your target audience's attention. And generally speaking, pains and wants are two elements that are tied together. You know, find the solution to your audience pain often leads to them achieving what they want or at the very least one step closer to it. Okay, you have to have a deeper understanding of both your audience's pains and wants individually and how they are connected together in order to craft a strong marketing message. When you're doing your research on your audience, 
experiences, pains, and wants, here are a few things I also advise you to focus on. Number one, how aware are they of their pains and wants? If you're going to start talking to people one by one, you'll find that many of them may give you vague answers or, or just symptoms of a problem. They'll tell you, you know, they want success, but, but won't define what success is for them or that they don't want to spend so much time on their work or business, but, but that's simply a symptom of their major problem. And it's up to you to dive deep, find the root of their problem and articulate what exactly they're trying to achieve. And when you're able to present to them what exactly their pains are and how solving these pains can lead to what they truly desire, it'll be like a, a light bulb switching on and you have their attention. And then number two, what is the universal pains and wants of your niche market? So each person in your target audience may have a different way to express what their pains and wants are and it's up to you to figure out what the universal theme is that ties all of this together and still allow you to connect with them on a deeper level number three what is their level of experience okay how long have your target audience been in the industry you know this question is incredibly important when crafting the last element of your marketing message that we'll be discussing later on you have have to know just how long they've been trying to resolve their problems and achieve their goals. What solutions have they tried? What other businesses have they worked with? What was their experience? What kind of results did they get? What do they need to see in other businesses in order to consider working with them? And the answer to all these questions will help you unlock the final element of your marketing message right? Your unique value proposition. Knowing your audience, their pains and wants serves as a guide map that would lead you to your ideal audience's doorsteps. But you're going to need a key to unlock that door and make that final connection and book a qualified sales call and close the deal. That key is your unique value proposition. This is what sets you apart from your competition and lets them know why they should be working with you and not an another business that offers the same service. Let's be real for a second. Chances are they've already heard what you have to offer and, and they already know the methods, strategies, and tools that you're going to use to try to help them. So how do you make these solutions appear fresh and new to your audience? You don't actually have to come up with a new magical concept. You just need to define how you're packaging it together. You know, the various methods and strategies that you use, how they work together and what makes your entire process unique from your competition and bring your clients better results. It's not so much as coming up with a new service as it is coming up with a new and more efficient process that is unique to your business. And when you have these four elements down, your target audience, their pains, their wants, and your unique value proposition, you can start building your marketing message. And before you put them all together, here are a couple more tips. One, don't be afraid to get specific with your niche market. You know, a lot of people think that if they keep it general, they'll attract more audiences. But what they're actually doing is wasting time with people who do not have a need for their service and giving the impression that they don't specialize in anything. Two, make your audience feel the pain, make them face the problem so that it creates more urgency for the solution that you're actually offering. Three, give them a clear picture of their desire. Make it high definition. Don't be vague. Tell them how you can deliver exactly what they want. Four, make your unique value proposition stand out, but make sure it's easily understandable and give them a clear vision of what you're offering. When building your marketing message, just follow this simple formula. Your brand, your audience, their pains, their wants, plus your unique value proposition. 
I'll give you a simple example using our own marketing message here at Viral Growth Media. Viral Growth Media helps small businesses and solo entrepreneurs in the coaching and consulting space break out of their small market and scale and grow to six to seven figure monthly revenues using our proprietary viral growth method without spending money on ads. This is the kind of marketing message that would help you connect with your audience, appeal to their pains and wants and show them why they need your business and book yourself a qualified sales call. But before we end this video, I just want you to remember your marketing message should always be evolving. New trends come up, currents change, and there's always something new developing in whatever industry you're in. So you have to make sure your marketing message is always updated and is at the forefront of your industry. If you want to know what we think of your current message, of your current marketing message, you can actually book a free consultation call with us. One of our brand experts can give you some helpful tips on how to improve it. Just click on the link below and schedule a call. Thanks for sticking with us. Leave a comment below if you have any questions and we'll see you in the next video.